In part one of this two-part series, we observed how the brain's neuroplasticity forms and changes our habits. We examined whether our personal habits glorified God or needed replacing. In part two, we applied these same value questions to the results of our habitual public behaviors. Do they reflect our Christianity or our fallen humanity? In a recent podcast, we observed the unfortunate conclusion that habitual public behavior generally feeds human inclinations and not God's glory. Our need to change these behaviors becomes evident. Where do we start? First, how we act in public changes with the company we keep. If we're among Christians, our often repeated behavior differs from when we're among family, friends, or associates. It's different again if we're among those who would stand against us. Now what? Click the link in the description to hear our recent podcast episode, Do My Habits Glorify God Part 2. We match the needed thought process with the science of habit changing and address our subconsciously ingrained public habits. Combining this with scripture unfolds a powerful pathway. Join us for this God-honoring, life-changing journey. Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing.